much Do it all over again So give me a call Five oh, Call us both Party lights flashes In the rear view Law enforcement Enforcement Live is filmed live with the men and women of law enforcement. All participants in tonight's show are innocent until proven guilty in a court of law. Viewer discretion is advised. TV 10 and WRNR are proud to bring you this episode of Law Enforcement Live recorded on the 2nd of September 2021. Special thanks to Sheriff Nate Harmon and the Berkeley County Sheriff Department for allowing us to give you this look into a day in the life of a law enforcement officer. Today's episode will feature a traffic accident, suspicious drug odors, and 911 emergency call a traffic stop, and the serving of a personal protective order. To all of our fans in the Bahamas, we would like to say, thanks. That one said 1340. I think for a process of elimination. Yeah, because the next one was 70, wasn't it? Right. Deputy Strickler, we're going to Sheriff's Department. Uh, um, nice to meet you. Um, you're along with the hit and run? Yes, ma'am. We were process of elimination <laughs> trying to figure out which house belonged to you. It really didn't hurt the car that much. And the top scuff, I would have tried to buff it out myself. Okay. But the bottom scuff, it took paint off. Okay, you want to come down and show yeah, me? I'm not a painter, so. It's yeah, <laughs> sure. And you never know, sometimes they charge you outrageous amounts yeah. for little things that don't quite make sense. This is the note that was on my windshield when I come out. Okay. Top stuff it put scratches in it, but I think I could probably be buffed out. Yeah. But this is paint gone off of it. Right. And it it really didn't hurt the car, but yeah, I'm paying a lot of money for a car. I don't want scratches on her. Absolutely. <laughs> yeah, so, so I mean, 55 Berkeley, and 28 through West Virginia. I kind of hate to waste your time on something Sorry, like that. that. <laughs> There's a lot more One important J. things Julian going on. In November yeah. 700. 1JN700. I run in the grocery store to get some some vegetables for dinner. Sure. Come, come back out and I actually I got in my car, put stuff in the trunk, got in the car, started it up, and I look up and I see the note under the windshield wiper blade. Like, right. Oh, crap. So I shut it off, get out, and I start reading the note. Now I start. I walked around the car that way. It's like, man, I don't see nothing. For well, the the people that was parked right beside me, she, the lady in there, she put her window down and said, uh, yeah, little old lady, uh, I left a note on your windshield. Said that some of you. Uh, hit your car and then i read the note again and it says driver side bumper so right, i checked the right. front and then i come back here and it's like oh crap well that was really nice of someone to believe this that's, honestly uh, <laughs> that's i thought it was really you know, it's hard to find people that would do absolutely yeah. yeah to go out of their way <laughs> yeah help you out. well i mean there's good people left in the world yep. i guess uh do you have your driver's license on uh, you no, i have to get my wallet real quick <laughs> your information so hopefully i can figure out whose vehicle it was and get you some insurance information yeah, well, i called my insurance agent first and he said to call you guys and yeah. not, he said not that there's a lot you guys can do about it because it was on private property exactly. and all that but i guess for the insurance purposes make sure the claim was you know absolutely yeah, and, I'll, and i will try and locate this person for you and get okay. their insurance information i'll wait out here Let's get in here <laughs> they don't bite they're just puppies but they're, right they're crazy get in, <laughs> get in. <laughs> Little does he know I love puppies. <laughs> the big one, the piece of the chest, the dog. All the rest of them are puppies. Barry, the bigger one, he's six months old, and the other two, four, or three, a little over three months old. They're so cute. Oh my oh, I, goodness. I like the big white one. Yeah, Not that I don't like all of them. But. That's my, that's my boy. <laughs> <laughs> He's adorable. Big baby, ain't you? <laughs> you can let your insurance company know that uh, Berkeley County Sheriff's Department will be handling. Uh, it, it's just going to be a CAD report for insurance purposes. So if they just call in, they'll know what that means. Just okay. there. 
Uh, and, but I am going to try and locate that person. Uh, I did run their tag. Go back to a P.O. box. But uh, hopefully I can figure out who they are and get their insurance information to take care of them. Oh, oh, God. That's my mother-in-law lives next door. Oh, there. really? That these dog kind these of guys come like out here and argue. <laughs> That's hilarious. All right, well, we're going to get out of here. I really appreciate you guys coming out. Absolutely. You guys be safe. And we appreciate what you guys do for us. Thank you. Thank you. We appreciate that you appreciate it. Not everyone does. <laughs> you guys be safe. All right, thank you, Mark. Clips is like. Smells like hot dogs. Yeah. Hot dogs. <laughs> I smell a little bit now. Is it just the collars dress or the. I don't know what that is. Hi. <laughs> Hi. 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 Are you the one that called us? Yeah. Okay. I guess we'll come over and talk to her. I don't know if it'll be on there or somewhere. Or maybe State will. Hi. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, you could definitely smell it in there. Okay. It's been <laughs> Do you know how old he is? Hmm? Do you know how old this person is? I'm thinking he's, what, he's like 19? I'd say somewhere in that range. I've only seen him twice. Yeah, he yeah. never comes out. He never answers the door. And you actually the second time he's gone. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Ye
again, it doesn't really give me probable cause to like enter the home. Um, and then short of finding uh, CDS on his person, but she, if he never leaves the house, you know what I mean? That makes it more difficult to catch him as well. Um, you could try and if you see him outside of the house, you know, see if you can get somebody to come by and do like a welfare check on him. Um, other than that, I mean, honestly, I know that it's an inconvenience to you, but there's really, there's not a lot that I can do. Um, maybe you could talk to the grandmother when she comes back and let her know what's going on and that might take care of it. You know, uh, I wish there was more I could do for you, honestly. Or like if you saw him purchasing drugs or someone delivering drugs and he's not leaving the house, like all of those things. Um, we know he, we know, I'm pretty sure that's his car. That car has never left since we moved in in um, November. And we moved in December 4th. Yeah. And the car's never moved. That car never left. Yeah, the white car's never moved. Interesting. I'll run the license plate on it too yeah. and see. Oh, there's no license plate on it now. Ah. So you have an issue with that? We think it belongs to him, and he looks, he's definitely old enough to drive. Sure. But just from living from here, we think he um, might have lost his license or something for sure. a while because he's always getting the ride from mm -hmm. the older lady, or when she's gone, she's with a group of boys that looks like they're not really good. Sure. Um, do you guys have an HOA here? Don't know this situation. They say we do, but nobody knows who the president is. Ah, okay. Because I was gonna, I was gonna recommend if you can find out who the owner of the HOA is, you could let them know that there's a vehicle here. Almost all HOAs say if you're gonna have a vehicle on the property, it needs to be properly licensed, properly, yeah. you know, all that stuff. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Yeah, I'd investigate, but this is private property, so I, I can't personally tow it from here. But if there was someone that was like a property management company for the area or like the owner of the parking space or something of that nature, then they'd be able to tow it. Um, hmm. All right, well, I'll try and run the VIN on that vehicle and see what I can get back on it. Okay. Um, I would recommend just maybe trying to talk to the grandma when she comes back and just be like, hey, this is what's going on. I'm pregnant. You know, and maybe appeal to her maternal instincts, you know? I mean, chances are he's probably a problem for her as well. <laughs> I mean, it ends up kind of being that way, especially if she's leaving for two weeks at a time. It's a pattern. Yeah, yeah. Well, every time that we come out, that creates a report. So we'll be able, in the event that we should be able to catch him in the act or possession of marijuana or something of that nature, um, that would be like a clear violation of West Virginia state code. Then, you know, we could pull that history and say, you could tell the okay. officer they've been out here three times, you know, to, to my address or to 160 and, and let them know. Okay. Um, and that'll build a case for the prosecutor as far as going okay. forward legally. Okay. So, all right. Thank Can you. I actually get your driver's license? Cause I'll attach your information sure. to the CAD so yeah. that I can, uh, contact you if necessary. Yeah, I just got home, turned, and as soon as I walk in, I smell it. Right, yeah, especially with having the windows open. Yeah. Well, and I think somebody's grilling outside because the predominant smell outside at this moment is hot dogs. <laughs> That's what we were talking about. I was like, it smells like hot dogs. <laughs> 155. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you, too. Yeah. Oh. License was. We do have angels and devils. Whiskey, single time.
to say, fine, we still have an open line. Here's the you and I was talking back and forth. Your incident has been updated. Step forward. Come on, guys, get out of the way. Lights are still on. Your incident has been updated. y'all for a second. your mile marker. 19, ma'am. 10 for 19 mile marker.
Good thing this road isn't hella sketch. We have to make a quick getaway. Yeah. <laughs> Is that on the, on the recording? <laughs> 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 no, <yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> ah, that's funny. Be no quick getaways. Oh, we gated out. Are we gated out? It's the other direction. Yeah. Maybe that's somebody's driveway and this way is the way the road actually goes. I don't really know. 155 Berkeley. 155, go ahead. Once you turn up Messenger Farm Lane, is 74 going to be um, if we bear right at the Y on the dirt road? I don't think he can get through. We'll just get out and walk up. Yeah. It's like it's a four wheel drive only situation. around in so you can get out. Can you tell me if East or Reach over there saw a few guys last night or early this morning about drugs recovered from a mail that I brought in last night? Yeah, first time. Four. I'm in a four wheel drive vehicle, but I'll advise 127. Who I'm sure is now advised. It says that this is Ten four. paved, but it's not. I guess maybe it is. It's kind of paved. <laughs> I guess it kind of is. It's all wheel drive. It is kind of paved. Ugh. It is minimally paved. Somebody graded it with a tractor about a year ago. <laughs> Hasn't completely washed out yet. Give it time. Give it time. Oh, it's too bad. There's a house right here and further up. 155 Berkeley. Is it going to be the first house here on the right? Second house on the right. Four, thank you. Of course it is. <laughs> I don't think you can fall over here. It's not that bad. You never take the second driveway. One fifty five birthday twenty eight through West Virginia. This is that car she's saying. Yeah, one fifty five. Nine four Lima eight eight seven. Nine four L eight eight seven. All right. Got 
Go ahead. So you got a shotgun? So there's a shotgun in underneath of the bedroom uh, bed. This car, if you say she's going to try to take the first car, I did just confirm it's only in her name. Sent for I don't think she managed. And um, well, he does not have a license. I don't know either. I don't know, but he was awarded custody of the other. Do you want to go around back? Yeah, watch this one. One twenty seven, there is one door off the back of this building. Be careful, he landed. Okay. Okay. Seven contact me for any traffic. You got it at the road again. What's that mean? She's going to explain it. Hey, man. You still have the, uh, the shotgun Steve in Kaufman. there? No. Okay. Steve Kaufman. Kaufman. gave it to my family. Do you mind if he goes and checks? Well, I'm going to be right here. I can tell you. Was she, you, uh, was she awarded the house? Yes. Okay. You just, just stay right here, and, and uh, she's going to explain that. I'm not looking for anything to do. I'm just making sure there's nothing in there. All right. You can sit down if you want. No biggie. Um, all right. So, she went and filed a family protective order against you, which she's already told you, I guess. Do you have any weapons inside the house? Any firearms? No, you need I don't to have surrender? any firearms. The only thing I have is two. Uh, is an axe that's actually dressed like there. It's a, uh, like a, uh, it's all right. I just mean like guns. No. All right. So this is a copy for you, my friend. All right. So I'm just going to let you over a record. Is she your wife or your girlfriend? Uh, it's, we've been together 15 years. It's called whatever that like one thing is. common law marriage. Yeah. I got you. All right. So she's filed this FPO against you. You are going to have court on the 15th at 9 a.m. Make sure you're there. Very important, okay? Yes. Yeah. Um, all right, so you have to surrender any firearms if you have any, but we already covered that, and you gave them to your family member, which works for me. Um, you need to refrain from contacting, telephoning, communicating, harassing, or verbally abusing the petitioner. You shall refrain from entering any school business or place of employment of the petitioner. Petitioner is awarded possession of this residence. Um, and that may or may not continue to be true, but that is going to be true until that court hearing on the 15th. So you're going to have to vacate the property right now, but we'll give you a moment to get some of your things together, uh, so that you can do that. Okay. You call, you know, I wish you all would have called. Uh, it doesn't really work that way. Unfortunately. What, to actually give my socks and shoes on? I was about to, I was Hold cooking. on, let me finish reading this to you. Okay. I mean, we're going to let you do that. We are. We're not, we're not jerks. Right, so we're not going to come out here and... We're not going to give you a heads up to come here so you can possibly shoot us or something like that. That's that's the reason for that. Exactly. Or, you know, leave or destroy her belongings or something of that nature. No, that's that's was, the reason for that. She's the one that got um, the, the violence charges against me. Right. Okay. And like I said, when you go to that court hearing on the 15th, that's why it's really important that you go to that so that you can basically get your side. Because she's gotten her side out, but you haven't had or an opportunity to speak yet. So this is just temporary until the 15th so that she's safe and you're safe yeah, as well and the child. Okay. So, Can I see my child? Let me read this. I haven't actually read through the entire thing, and I'll let you know what, what this says, okay? So, she's awarded temporary possession of this house at 74 Messenger Lane, um, and she has given us per her consent to enter the residence that is owned or rented jointly by the both of you, with or without a warrant, to enforce this protective order. So, that's how we can go into your house. Um, you are also... She is going to be receiving temporary custody of Kylie, okay? Like I said, that's only gonna be until the 15th. And on the 15th, you can give them your side of the story and they can change that then, okay? But this Maybe is just to make sure, finish. this is to make oh. sure that everybody is safe, okay? All right. She is awarded the exclusive care, Perfect. possession and control. Checking your status. Secure. Um, of any animals in the residence. I don't know if you have any animals in there. I guess the dog here. Yeah, she gets the dog. She said I could have the cat. Well, for right now, she's going to have all the animals until the 15th. What? That's It's just how it was granted to her. Is, 
Okay. So you are also prohibited from taking, concealing, molesting, physically injuring, killing, or otherwise disposing of any animals. Not that you would, but we have to read you that. And that you cannot have any contact with the animals. And you may have the following limited contact with the dog named Rennie, who is a shepherd mix. I guess that's this one? I don't want the dog. Oh, well, you do that's have, I guess, visitation of the dog. Kind of weird. So she's taking my house. I don't get to stay here no more. You do not until the fifteenth. Like I said. Wait, so she's taking the house? Yes, sir. She's been granted possession of the residence, and for her to live there, and you're not able to come here, unfortunately, until that hearing on the fifteenth. How is that even possible? We were just the messengers. Yeah, we. I mean, honestly, we don't know what she alleged against you. Um, it is contained in that paperwork. If you want to read over that, once we you know vacate the the premises here they just they just send us out here because they don't want to drive out here so then that's boys, so where am i gonna live where you don't have no family around here no you don't she have, said that she was just getting she was just getting um you don't have nobody her thing. You, you don't have nobody around here that you know this is bullshit. see this is why somebody should tell somebody well you have to understand though not everybody's cool like you are you know what I'm saying? Like sometimes people are like pissed about it, and then they want to wait and ambush us with. So I don't 10 get other nothing. I get kicked out of my house. I get kicked out of everything, even though she was the one that uh, had all the physical abuse on me. That makes no sense. I mean, we don't make the rules, man. Huh? Well, I get that. West Virginia. All right, can I just get you to sign right here? All that's saying is that you don't have any firearms. You do need to sign that for me right here. So. Yeah, right here. Can't believe this. Okay, that's all. This and is then my you have your copy of the paperwork. But like I said, when you go to court on the fifteenth, she's, she's not even paying the rent. Well, I mean, that'll be her to figure Are out. Are you in a relationship with her? Fifteen years. That's how she did it. Man. I mean, that's she went there before you did. Yeah, pretty much. And she made out. Yeah, how can they automatically do something like that? They're pretty determined before they even actually well, that's got a date. You, well, well, that's, that's why, why I got a court date. Yeah, that's why it's an emergency. So she only well, she only got it until the fifteenth. Well, you, I mean, what if she lets me stay here and she goes to her parents? You can go to three eighty West South Street and dispute all that. I mean, we don't have nothing to do with it, man. Yeah. All we do is serve that piece of paper because they don't want to. Exactly. But. So if I if she you says I can stay here, here. No, she, you cannot. You can violate it, she can't. Let me just tell you this. She can't violate it, you can. If yeah. she comes here right now, if, if she was the if you were at Walmart and she goes into Walmart and she sees you stand there, you have to run out of Walmart. Fuck no, I don't. Okay, well I mean that's on you. I mean you're a grown man, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I'm just telling you what the law is. So yeah. if you don't, if you wanna break it, that's totally on you. Yeah. I mean that's your decision. So as long as she don't say anything, then there's no problem. Well, no, because if she decides to flip shit, you know what I'm saying? Or but you, she, she you do just, something she doesn't like, then she calls us out here, you're arrested. I mean, that's, you know what I'm saying? So you're, she told me she was just getting her things. I mean, she lied. Where do you want me taking her? I'm driving, just leave me alone. Well, let me see your license drive? first. I've been drinking. Yeah, you're literally drinking right can now. I, can I show them do a blow and go? I'm let me see, guy. can I see your license to make sure your license is valid? Yeah, what, are you, what are you, what are you gonna drive? Because you said- God, well, this is bullshit. Man, what do you want us to do? Uh, actually, y'all should be able to tell somebody. Uh, I'm not leaving until I get my uh, to, until I get picked up. Well, we'll take you where you need to go. You said you're gonna take me all the way into Maryland. No, that's well, what we I can thought. take you somewhere into West Virginia to wait for somebody to pick you up in Maryland. Can I grab my stuff at least? Absolutely. Uh, we gotta follow you. Though. Yeah, we yeah we gotta come with you to make sure you know okay. weapons and whatnot, safety, officer safety. You mind if you follow us in? Get, 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 get on the street. Bye. 
true. I, I'm, I'm not saying that it's not. Is my yep. friend or anywhere you can go? I'm going to Maryland. Call. Oh, you got a cell phone? Okay. Yeah, you can call Francis. Gentlemen, meet you somewhere. Yeah, I'll meet you somewhere in Berkeley. We'll take you where wherever in Berkeley. Well, you need to take that up with the judge. Yeah. You absolutely can't. Oh, Everything that you have a problem with, you can take it up with the judge. Y'all acting like I'm a criminal. No. Well, we're acting. Like I'm being treated. We're, I'm not trying to we're the messengers. That, right? We're just trying to help you. We, part of us being deputy sheriffs is that we have to do what the courts tell us to do. Other departments don't have to do that, but we do. So we enforce this, the court This is isn't even constitutional. Like, this is sure it is. There's a piece of paper right there showing you that it is. A piece of paper don't. I thought you were innocent until proven guilty. Well, I guess there's no talking to you because we tried to explain it to you. Man, they won't let me drive. You don't license. You've been drinking. They won't take me to Maryland. They won't let me drive. Well, yeah. I mean, that's, that's right. I mean, that's right. So I got like, well, look, I only got like five or ten minutes to leave. It's got like swords. Is he going to come? Yeah, but he was in Hagerstown. Are you going to transport him or you want me to? He says dad lives in Hagerstown, so we can just take him up to the uh, Exxon there, calling Waters. Yeah, I'm going I'm, I'm here at 12 o'clock. <laughs> it all pays the same. <laughs> That's true. My child gets taken away from her. I can't see her until then. She even said I could see her. Like, I just got done talking to her. That is weird, because she definitely asked for you not to see her. Can she recant any of this? On the 15th, when you guys go to work. So now, there's nothing I can. Nothing. There's nothing you can do until court on the 15th. Just the way the law is written. I gotta go to work. No, 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 no. My work is down here. Well, I mean, you can still drive in the West. That's a long yeah. drive, though. Yeah, that's true. That's why I'm saying y'all could like that there should be at least like a two-hour notice or a day notice. I found hard. So if I wouldn't have shown up if I wasn't here. I gotta get served, right? So if I was we would have caught you. Trust me, trust me, believe. I was at that back door. I don't know. I'm pretty good in the woods. I'm That's pretty. Not be me. I'm but. pretty great in the woods. And I got the best on, so no thorns can get to me. You know. I'm not. Look, I'm not mad at you. I know. You're mad at what's going on. I get it, man. Pierce trains every day to chase people through the woods. I get <laughs> If you guys are split up for a little while, maybe that'll give you time to like get some perspective. And she won't hit you. You know what I'm saying? She's saying she's hitting you. Yeah, but she's been cheating on me. I shouldn't have to leave the house. I mean, if she's cheating on you, she's hitting you. Maybe just no. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. So save up some money. To where she could get it, and then somehow like y'all just left up one day. Right. Well, y'all aren't married, so when they you go to court, basically married. Well, yeah, I'm saying, but like in the eyes of the law, you're not married. So when you go to court, you can say, "This is my trailer. I paid for it. I pay the bills. I'm on the trailer title." Especially if you're saying her parents are local, she can go stay with them. That's what she said. Yeah. She, she can go stay with them and save some money. Keep her hands to herself that way. How uh, old is your daughter? 16 miles. Oh, oh wow. It's an old school bomber. Oh, yeah. So that's a good thing, too. She won't I swear them things back in the breakdancing days, man. <laughs>
best right well you can stay at the mission if you don't drink though huh you can't stay at the mission if you drink so if you don't drink you can you have a place to stay if you want to stay at the mission but they're not going to take you if you've been drinking at all I mean, what are you gonna blow though? I mean, because you look like you've been drinking. So I mean, I've been crying all day. Just took my dog. I mean, I'll, I'll see what you what you blow, and if you're all right, let's do it. Seriously, okay, we'll get you. Yeah, I'll go get it. I start with my car. But your license is revoked, so you ain't driving either. They're pretty cool. <laughs> it's heavy. You can pick it up. Dog eats up legit, too. Yeah. Oh, you nice? Mm. Yeah. Like no. Not sure. <laughs> Watch out, there's like... Green eater. We like her. Yeah. I'm not to get my sweatshirt She was supposed to hand me $200. Can you just ask her for the money that... I don't have any way to contact her at all. She's right there, isn't she? No, that's his car. We came in separate cars. Oh. Yeah, she's not here. I thought she, all right. Yeah, we don't have any way to contact her. Okay. Sorry. Keep in mind too, you can't contact her through a third party. So like, you can't have your dad call her and be like, hey, tell her to give me that $200 or what have you. Cause that would still constitute a violation. Of I'm just letting you know so you don't get hemmed up. So right? I can't get no money. I'm broke. You can't contact her at all. I'm broke. I mean, if you have access to this, to like a joint banking account, do what you gotta do. You might want to bring a copy of that paperwork to you, left it all around, just so you have it. You can read through it. And, in case you don't remember everything that I've told you. You want to grab that paper for him so he doesn't forget it. Why, thank you. So kind. To the house with you. Okay, I'm just making sure that you don't have a copy of the keys right now. Got some other cigarette before we get in the car. Sure. Um. You don't have. She has the house keys. Is what I'm saying. Okay. We normally keep it unlocked. Okay. Um. So once we leave, you can't come back to the residence. I hear you. And don't contact her in any way for your child. Um. Pierce, are you cool with transporting him? Because my bag from my passenger seat is in my rear seat. Yeah, Because I won't have room for that. I can follow you with one or the other, but I I might be able to jam that in the back of my car. Maybe. Let my light in there. Well, the door's locked. Yeah, we just locked up there. Yeah, I guess I'm not smoking. Oh, look at this. Oh, thank you. You want one, boss? No, thank you. Appreciate it. Chilling a valid operator in Tennessee, one second. 